Hi boys and girls, this is the WW list for this week. As always, we're gonna start off by reading these words together. Desk, he, keep, ski, these, felt, be, cheek, held, me, feed, just, she, green, jeep, much, before, line, first. You can hit pause while you look over these words and try to figure out what is it that we're looking at this week? What do you think you're supposed to learn about this week from your spelling words. Hit play when you're ready to move on. Okay, so as always, we have our, our word wall words. Much, before, line, first. It's important to learn these words to be really familiar with them so that you can read them very quickly or even write them very quickly and accurately. And that way you'll be a stronger reader and a stronger writer. But what else did you notice? Well, these have the E sound, don't they? Don't they? <laughs> this, work, this week we are looking at the E sound. We're especially looking at the long E sound. Remember the long E says its name, so it's E. We don't hear that in desk, do we? This is a short E sound. Do we have any other short E sounds in this list? We do, we have a few. Felt held, just. That symbol means the short vowel sound. How do we know that these are short vowel sounds for E? Well, we see the E consonant, consonant. E consonant, consonant. E consonant, consonant. E consonant, consonant. E, consonant, consonant. And because of that, we have the short E, the E eh sound. We see that in this word too. E, consonant, consonant. It's a short vowel sound. Bend. We see it again here. E, consonant, consonant. It's not leafed. It's left, eh. So here we have short E. But the rest of these words have the long E sound or E, right? We see it with just the letter E in he and B and me, and she. Now, this is kind of unusual and we don't see that too much. The only other word I could think of that has the long E sound made by just a E is this word. We. And for some people, this word. The. Sometimes we say this word the, sometimes we say it the. Have you ever noticed that? Like when I'm saying, let's say I get to the end of a book. I usually don't say the end. I usually say the end. Don't you? I don't know why, we just do. So these are some words that have the short, no, the long E sound with just that E hanging out at the end. We also have 
a few of these words. Keep, cheek, feed, green, and jeep. We have two E's working together to make the long E sound. When you see two E's together, you're not going to pronounce it E-E -E or E-E. Eh -eh. You just pronounce it as one E sound. K-E-E-P. Ch-E-E-K. F-E-E-D. Green. So, two E's together. We see that in a lot of words. It's very common to make the long E sound this way, like B. Now, of course, that's different from this. B E E B is, the, you know, like a little bumblebee flying around. We also see it in seam and see, and lots and lots of other words. Now, we do have two little leftover words here, don't we? We have, let me find a good marker for this one. We have ski and these, and we're gonna call these our, odd, our oddball words. You don't see this very often. And oddly enough, we don't see this very often either. A lot of times that silent E makes our vowel a long vowel. We see it all the time with the other vowels. We see it in fine and mine and hide with the I, right? We see it in made, shade, fame, with A. We even see it with the U and the O lots of times. But that's not what we're talking about this week. We're talking about E. And this is actually a pretty unusual way to make the E a long vowel. We see it in names like here, I'll say E, consonant E. We see it in the name Pete or the name Steve. But other than that, we might see it in Eve and then not too many other things. And we really rarely see the I alone like it is in Ski. Make sure that you do your spelling work this week. Look for E words in your reading and try your best to use it correctly in your writing.